Hello everybody, it's Buckle Stitch back for another update. Uh, I think I last filmed about two and a half weeks ago or thereabouts. Uh, so I've been to New York and back in that time, had a really fantastic time. Uh, it was freezing. Um, I would say it's probably the coldest place I've ever been. And I've also been to Iceland and it was definitely colder than that. Um, yeah, I went up to the top of the Empire State Building one evening and I don't know what the temperature would have been, but with the wind chill, it was just like nothing else I've ever experienced. So we could barely stand out there for a few seconds before we had to go back in. So, uh, yeah, that was that was a bit of an experience. Um, yeah, so... I had a really good time, like I said, and I came back on Sunday the um, 19th and then I had about half a day at home and then went back to work on the Monday. So yeah, I was pretty tired that week, tired all the time to be honest. Um, <coughs> and uh, yeah, so now I'm in my second week back after the half term break. So. Um, I seem to say this every video, but I haven't done loads of stitching, but I've done something, so I thought, why not show you, film a video, as I haven't done one for a little while. Um, I've got a little bit of stash, not a lot, but a little bit, and that is about it. So I don't think it's going to be a particularly long video. Um, I'll say thank you to the people that have commented on my previous film, and the complete opposite of a thank you to ever put a thumbs down on my video. I don't know why that would have been. Maybe I'm a bit boring. <laughs> I don't know. And I did spend a lot of time talking about kitchens. So that could have been the reason. But yeah, so uh, but anyway, thank you to everybody that left me a really nice comment. Um, I think I've done the little heart button next to all of them. I should really reply. So I'll try and make sure I do that to any comments I get on this video. Um, okay, so I'll start off by showing you what I have actually stitched. So, the f soon as um, we got on the plane, pretty much, I got some stitching out. So I did show you the kit I was going to work on uh, in my last video. So it was a bothy threads, or bothy threads, um, for owls. So this was picked out by my mum a couple of years ago at the craft show at the Alexander Palace in North London that we go to most years. Uh, so I think she'd forgotten about this, but I, when I told her I'd started stitching it the other day, she remembered it and was quite excited that I've started it. I thought it was quite a nice one to do because it had some blocky colours in there that I could get going with. So that was that one, and I substituted out the fabric because it comes. The kit comes with white Ada, fourteen count. So I remember ordering a piece from Crafty Kitten quite a while ago. I can't remember what it's called, but it's like a peach colour. And this is how much I got done. So this is probably how much I got done in about four or five hours, maybe. And it doesn't look a lot in that time. But that is what I got done. So the three or the five red hearts in the middle and then the orange hearts either side of those. And then this is the start. Oh, what is that? Oh no. This is the start of, I think it's the spring owl. Yes, it's the start of that one there. camera in the right place yeah so I managed to do the branch the leaves the feet and the bottom of the green part of the body so I was pretty pleased with that and I normally when I'm at home I can't I find it really difficult to switch off and forget about any other jobs that need doing so like housework or school stuff or whatever so I really kind of do more than an hour in one go before I then go and do something else and then come back to it. So it was really nice to be on a plane and 
the only thing really as well as watching tv and films it was to stitch so that was really nice um yeah i managed to watch four episodes of a tv show and two films on the way as well so all while i was stitching so it was a really really nice period of time and i think i need to do that more often i'm always writing lists of things i've got to do and you know making sure i get through them by the time the weekend's finished and then it's back to work again so i know that this saturday I'm going to really, really try to, I've got to go out in the morning to pick something up that I've ordered. And then I'm going to make sure for most of, yeah, so for most of, uh, all day, I want to say all day. I can, even now I'm thinking, oh, but I might have stuff to do. Um, I am going to sit and stitch on Saturday. All day. Fingers crossed. My husband's inviting about five of his friends round for a, a LAN game. So if you're not sure what that is, that is where all his friends bring their computers round. They all link them up, which probably takes about three hours. And then they sit and play games against each other with all their laptops or computers. Yeah, so luckily, well, they're going to try and do this in our shed summer house Thing at the bottom of our garden so it's got electricity carpeted it's really nice in there um the previous owners of the house you know did a really good job with it so they're gonna go in there i'm a bit dubious that our wi-fi will reach that far as it that our wi-fi points quite near the front of the house and they're going all the way to the back of the garden so if that fails i think they'll go into the dining room but either way I'll, I can still have the front room to myself and stitch all day. And then if they get a takeaway in the evening, I can partake in that. So hopefully I won't have to cook anything either. So, yeah. Anyway, gone off topic again. But that's my start on that. And I will probably get back into that. Maybe I'll try some of that on Saturday. So the fabric is like a mottled peachy colour. I think it's showing up fairly well on there. And then this is my cake needle minder from my favourite needle. Uh, oh my god, my mind's gone blank. Needle minder um, from Needle Keep Emporium. Okay, I've got two needles on there. I'll just in case I dropped one on the plane in the plane. I don't think I'd ever find it again if I'd lost it, if I dropped it even. Okay, so that's that one. Um, yep, sorry, just looking around. I wanted to show you the um, thread cutter that I've got that I took on the plane with me. See if I can find it. Because I think some someone was asking. I can't remember if it was on a YouTube comment or Stitch Mania. Oh, yeah. So this came free with the World of Cross Stitching magazine a while ago. And the blades are concealed between the petals of the flower. So this got through security, no problem, there was no, no searches or no nothing, no pat down for me. So I managed to get through uh, the airports quite well. So yeah, that's what we used as our cutter, no scissors. So yeah, that com comes in very handy. <clears throat> Alright, so that's the four owls. And then the only other thing I have stitched on, and I've done, this is the only thing I've worked on since I, or is it? No, it's not. I lie, I lie. This is one of two other things I have worked on since coming back from my trip. And this is a New World, a part of the New World series by Barbara Anna Designs. And this part is called Deep in the Woods. So... Actually, looking at it on here makes me realise just how much I've done. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't, must have not taken it off the frame in a while. But, yeah, so this is being stitched on a... Is it a linen? Yeah, this is a linen. It's Belfast linen from Sparkly's. 
I think, and I, it's called Shades of Autumn. So it's not too, the colours are not showing up too bad on there, but it's a mix of greens, yellows and reddish orange. So yeah, so this week I have been working on everything on the side of the bear, where the bear is looking, so everything here. So I've done the tree, the little flower here, um, the other tree with the squirrel, um, yeah. So then I've not got too much further to go on this side, probably to about here, and then I've got a little bit to do on the other side. So I'm actually looking at it on film, I'm actually really pleased with how it's looking. Well, it was in real life, but you kind of realise just how much you've done looking at it like this, so yeah. And this is my woodcutter needle minder from Needle Keep Emporium. Yeah, so really pleased with that. Yes, and the other thing I have worked on that I had almost forgotten about is actually up on the wall. So if you follow me on Instagram, then hopefully you've seen it already, but I shall try and take my phone on a little trip and show you so this was the uh, t-rex that i had been working on now i can't flip the camera while i'm mid video so i'll try and rotate it so excuse my head oh is that straight so there is oh there's a bit of glare on it so there it is up on the wall T-Rex. Apologies, I can't work out how to angle this camera. Oh, oh, there we go. That's better. So that's the T-Rex. Um, I had a frame already for it. It only just about fit, but I think it's okay. And I worked on this quite a lot so that I could give it to my husband as a belated Valentine's present. Note that I didn't get a present, but hey-ho, that's another story. And... Yeah, really pleased with it. So if you want to see a bit of a better picture rather than me just wobbling it about, then check out my Instagram, Buckle Stitch, and you'll be able to see a photo on there. Um, it was stitched on um, 14 Count Ada called Confetti from Sew It All. And it's opalescent also. And the chart was from Daily Cross Stitch. There's a website called dailycrossstitch.com and they have an Etsy page. And I think the chart only cost me about £3, so bargain. Yeah, so I think I've shown you this before, but this is my little cross stitch corner. So if I come away, you'll see it's like a little computer station. But yes, that's my little... Uh, sorry for making people feel sick. But that is cross stitch corner. So I've got bothy threads, fun with technology. Clouds Factory, Big Bang Theory and T-Rex up there. So hoping for something to go just here. And then I'll start working on this wall here. Okay, so yeah. So apologies of my bad camera, cameramanship. So, there we go. Okay, so um, that is that. That is the sum total of my stitching since last time i filmed i have got a little bit of stash so i i think i probably got two magazines in the post since last time i was going to cancel my subscription i think i moaned about it in one of my previous videos but i, I didn't get around to it and it's already been taken out my direct debit so i will see how that goes and cancel it maybe the next time so this was the most recent world of cross stitching I think this cat looks a little bit strange, if I'm honest. I think it's something about his mouth. But yeah. So I'll probably have another flick through this again. There are some cute things in here. Um, I'm not a lover of butterflies, so which seem to be quite popular, so I'll give them a miss. Oh, we've got this free kit with it. Or free three-in-one stitch kit. I quite like those they're quite cute so I keep all the freebies in a box so I'll have to dig through those at some point 
yeah, it's got some cute things in here. So I'll just try and find some of the things to show you. Uh, that's quite sweet. Quite like the elephant. But that's designed by Hell's Couple Ditch. Some nice Easter cards. Celebrate Easter. I like the shading on some of these. They're quite nice. Uh, yeah, so lots of spring stuff. So even though I like lots of these, I don't know if I'd ever stitch any of them, but I like just to have it to look through anyway. Okay, so yeah, that was that. That was my magazine. And then I got, yesterday, only yesterday, I got my, <coughs> excuse me, I got my two new fabrics of the month from Sparklies. Uh, so I got this one. Um, that's no good, you can't see anything. So I'll take it out of the packet. This is, has no name. But it is 32 count Murano, 13 by 18 inches. And it's a really nice, oh, I don't know, I don't know how to describe it. But it's a really nice shade, pale shade of green. What would you call it? Um, I can't think of what I call it. I don't know if that's showing up too well on camera actually. But it's, it's like a pastely green. Really light shade of green. So yeah, I really like that one. And then the other one is called Hairbell. And that's still 32 count Murano, same size. And when I got this, I thought I'm sure this was the same as last month's. Which doesn't bother me because I like to have, you know, lots in the stash. But I then compared them and the other one was more aqua. And this is more of a pastel light blue. So this is called Hairbell. As I said already, and yeah, really like that too. So, yeah, this is more of a pastel blue in the previous month, was kind of like an aqua kind of colour. So, really pleased with those. I'm really pleased I chose to do a fabric of the month with sparklies. Um, I do like the fabrics from Crafty Kitten, but they tend to take quite a long time to actually reach you so yeah I'm pleased with the decision I made on that one okay so the only other thing I've done <coughs> is I watched Life in Stitches video recently and I noticed that she was using her uh, free diary that was in one of the magazines recently to record what she is stitching and when so I have started doing that I could go into more detail, but I've literally just written down. So, 26th Sunday, deep in the woods. 27th Monday, deep in the woods. Didn't do any yesterday. And hopefully I'll do something. Um, I'm not sure what this is going to look like if I try and edit these videos together or I'm going to have to post a separate one. Which would be really annoying because I'm almost finished. But a software update notification came up on my phone and cut off my video. So I'm going to try and piece these together. But if not, I'm going to have to just upload a little ending. Because I don't like leaving it unfinished. So yeah, so um, as I was saying, I'm going to use my diary to record what I'm stitching and when. Okay, so that is me finished. Um, oh yeah, the only other thing is that um, one of uh, my subscribers or someone who watches my videos quite regularly, Chantelle Verbist, sorry if I've messed up your name, but she um, wanted to have one of the fabrics that I got um, multiple, multiples, what, what I'm trying to say, one of the fabrics that I got from eBay that I had more than one of. Uh, she wanted so I sent it to her plus some of the um, some little booklets I got from a magazine uh, a while ago um, 
so I posted them to her at the weekend and she I got a message today to say that she'd received them so glad you like it and let me know if you or what you stitch on it so yeah so I'm glad some of that went to a good home so yeah so thank you everybody for watching my videos and subscribing um, I'm just over 450 subscribers now which is pretty amazing that that many people want to watch me ramble um, and yeah so thank you very much I hope you all have a good stitchy week and I will try and film again in a couple of weeks time so see you later